Yak is a computer program for the Unix operating system. It is a LALR parser generator, generating a parser, the part of a compiler that tries to make syntactic sense of the source code, specifically a LALR parser, based on an analytic grammar written in a notation similar to BNF. Yak itself used to be available as the default parser generator on most Unix systems, though it has since been supplanted as the default by more recent, largely compatible, programs. Description YACC is an acronym for yet another compiler compiler. It is a LALR parser generator, generating a parser, the part of a compiler that tries to make syntactic sense of the source code, specifically a LALR parser, based on an analytic grammar written in a notation similar to BNF. It was originally developed in the early 1970s by Stephen C. Johnson at AT&T Corporation and written in the B programming language, but soon rewritten in C. It appeared as part of version 3 Unix, and a full description of Yak was published in 1975. The input to Yak is a grammar with snippets of C code attached to its rules. Its outputs is a shift reduce parser in C that executes the C snippets associated with each rule as soon as the rule is recognized. Typical actions involve the construction of parse trees. Using an example from Johnson, if the call node, label, left, right, constructs a binary parse tree node with a specified label and children, then the rule recognizes summation expressions and constructs nodes for them. The special identifiers, $1 and $3 refer to items on the parser stack. Yak and similar programs have been very popular. Yak itself used to be available as the default parser generator on most Unix systems, though it has since been supplanted as the default by more recent, largely compatible, programs such as Berkeley Yak, GNU Bison, MKS Yak and Abrax's PCYACC. An updated version of the original AT&T version is included as part of Sun's Open Solaris project. Each offers slight improvements and additional features over the original Yak, but the concept and syntax have remained the same. Yak has also been rewritten for other languages, including OCaml, Ratfa, ML, Ada, Pascal, Java, Python, Ruby, Go and Common Lisp. Yak produces only a parser. For full syntactic analysis this requires an external lexical analyzer to perform the first tokenization stage, which is then followed by the parsing stage proper. Lexical analyzer generators, such as Lex or Flex are widely available. The IEEE POS IXP 1003.2 standard defines the functionality and requirements for both Lex and Yak. Some versions of AT&T Yak have become open source. For example, Source code is available with the standard distributions of Plan 9 and Open Solaris. See also, Berkeley Yak, the Berkeley implementation of Yak quickly became more popular than AT&T Yak itself because of lack of reuse restrictions and performance. LALR Parser, the underlying parsing algorithm in Yak generated parsers. Bison, the GNU version of Yak. Lex, the token parser commonly used in conjunction with Yak. BNF, is a metasyntax used to express context-free grammars, that is, a formal way to describe context-free languages. References External links, Computer World Interview with Stephen C. Johnson on YACC, ML Yak a Yak version for the standard MIL language. CL Yak, an LALR, 1, parser generator for common lisp. PLY a Yak version for Python, Yak Theory. OCaml Yak, Yak version for OCaml. Rack Yak version for Ruby. Paper parsing non LR. K. Grammars with Yak by Gary H. Merrill. ANSIC Yak Grammar.